Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So first of all, I'm very sorry, I have a very squeaky chair. It's just like, every time that I move, it just takes over. So I do apologize if all you hear is, throughout the video, I'm gonna try to stay still, but chances are, I won't, because it's me. <laughs> I am very enthusiastic for this particular video because I am genuinely really excited to film this. Now, my channel initially grew from testing art hacks. So testing Instagram art hacks, testing Pinterest art hacks. My first big video was one where I was just kind of giving art hack advice. Today's video is sponsored by Likewise, which is a fantastic free app that helps give you personalized recommendations from real people and smart technology for shows and movies based on the genres and other things you watch throughout all the streaming platforms. This app is so good. Let me tell you, if you're like me and you like to draw and listen to TV shows or movies, you are gonna love this app. I'm always running out of shows and movies to watch because I paint for so many hours, it really doesn't take long for me to get through them. And I just finished watching Loki for the second time because I love Marvel stuff. I hate wasting time scrolling through streaming services. And this app, you can literally save all of your favorites in one place across all platforms. And you basically never lose track of the TV shows and movies you want to remember because it's essentially a wish list for everything just in one place. Likewise gives you daily recommendations so you never run out. And I got recommended this today. It's kind of like Tinder, but for books, movies, and shows. You can also explore groups to join conversations with people who love what you do as well. In fact, I just made a group to talk about sci-fi because it's my favorite and you can follow it here if you want. My username is Chloe Rose Art. So follow me over on Likewise. You can get recommendations from the community and you can follow and meet different people who like the same stuff you do. So click the link in the description to download the Likewise app. Again, it is 100% free and you can follow my account on there, Chloe Rose Art. And thank you so much to Likewise for sponsoring today's video. Today, I thought it'd be really fun to try out something a little bit different. And you know, Instagram is full of reels at the moment. They're just, it's all video, short form video content. It's where it's at right now. People just like to sit and flick through you know, definitely, I don't do that more than I should. There are actually pages dedicated to art videos, art hacks. A lot of these videos are so viral because they're either clever, they're different, or they're just downright really entertaining, or they make you go, how do they do that? That's amazing. I thought it would be fun to actually try out some viral Instagram art hacks slash tips slash just really like mind blowing types of art videos and just see if I can figure out for myself how they do it. This first video is from the art page Art World Unity and this video they've shared has 36.4 million views on it. This person did a beautiful canvas of all the seasons. So you've got spring, summer, fall and winter and it's just got a tree right in the middle of all the seasons, very, very beautiful. So we have this canvas which gonna use, why is it just a random plastic thing? So this is a level two canvas, which basically means that it's, I think artist quality, and it basically just means that the canvas is stapled around the back. I'm not gonna measure out too fancy. We're just gonna use this and hope that it actually does a decent job. I wanna make sure that it's even. That looks about even. Wait, there's four seasons, I was gonna do, Crap. The only thing about the recollections tape is it's not very sticky. So I'm hoping it won't be too bad. Is that even? No, it's not. That is not perfect in any means, but this is what we're gonna do for now. So we're gonna start off doing it in the same way they did. Okay, so pink to white, pink to white, green to white, orange to white, and then blue to white. Okay, so we've got pink, and we have green, then we have orange, and then we have blue. So we're gonna use these ones. Oh, the heavy. Okay, this isn't white, but this will do. I'm not too worried about it. It's just to blend it. So we're gonna start off with a splodge of pink. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, don't, ooh, that was close. And you've got orange paint all over me. Oh, I did it the wrong bastard way, didn't I? <sighs> well, that doesn't look so good, does it? Nobody will suspect a thing. Right, need to be fancy now. Ours is gonna be a little bit more pastel, which I am totally fine with. Okay, there's our first semi-gradient. It's not the most gradient in the world, but that's fine. Please tell me I didn't just get paint on me. Okay, so now we're gonna do green. Oh, 
Apparently today I'm incapable of blending my paints. <laughs> That's fine. Ugh. My dog ate my brush. Thanks, Arthur. I probably should have used different paint to this. I'm not too worried. It doesn't look the best, but I'm not too worried about that because we're going to be covering up a lot of it anyway. Okay, that'll be fine for now. We're going to put a tree over half of it anyway, so that'll do. So now is when the problem arises because as soon as he takes the paint off, that's what happens. There's no lines. Yeah, if I do that, I'm gonna have a line. Look. So what my workarounds for this is gonna be, and what I'm guessing they did, is they either use a different canvas entirely and use a different technique, or once this dried, they put tape over it and then joined the edges that way. That's what I personally am gonna do, I think, as I really don't think that they use the same canvas, but that's just me. So I'm gonna let this dry, and once that's dry, I'm gonna apply some more tape. Okay, it's now dry, so I'm gonna take some more tape and try and fix these lines here. I mean, the quickest way to do it without a doubt would be to do it one at a time, but I decided to just do it the awkward way so I can kind of copy the way that they supposedly did it. Okay, so this is dry now, I believe. So I'm just gonna pull this off. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm just gonna hope for the best with this. I am exposing that social media is fake. I kind of don't ever wanna see the color orange ever again in my entire life. I'm actually gonna use a Posca marker instead of a paintbrush because I can get it more under control. Come on, come on, Posca. Don't give up on me. I have absolutely no direction with this tree right now, so it's a bit of a mess. Oh no, bugger. Okay, that's my tree. He's a bit funny looking, but he's all right. He'll do. Okay, so I'm gonna work on the fence now. This was probably not gonna be very easy to make straight and I'm doing it slightly different, I guess, to how he's doing it, but that is fine. I mean, fences aren't straight, right? I'm gonna do like a raw iron fence, I think, like this. From here on out, I'm gonna do mine pretty different, or at least I'm not gonna look at their image anymore because I have the sort of the tree and the colors down. Now I'm just gonna do my own thing with it. Okay, so here's this so far. What I'm gonna do now is I'm probably gonna make this like Halloween-y. So like a pumpkin patch maybe. And I'm gonna keep this very basic too. I'm not gonna do a huge amount on this. Some strange looking pumpkins. Do some bats as well. I know I'm starting really strangely, like starting in this section, but I just figured it'd be kind of fun to uh, do something season related. I want to keep this kind of simple. I don't want to put too much on it. All props and credit to the original artist. I mean, they did such a fantastically beautiful job. I kind of didn't go to the level of detail that they did. I just kind of kept mine simple. I changed up quite a lot of it. I kept obviously the background colors and the fence and the tree idea, but this is gonna just go in the closet now for the rest of time. But still, this is how it turned out. I will link in the description, the original artist, of course. But yeah, that's how that turned out. I'm gonna show you another video that is just incredible, like absolutely absolutely incredible and I've seen a few different videos like this. This one right here is from arts underscore help and they used a bucket to paint fish so it looks like there's actually fish swimming around the bucket and in between each layer they actually put resin so it really looks like it's 3D and floating and I'm, I really enjoy making 3D style painting. I made this 3D painting in suspended in resin. The resin is a mess, I know, but the painting itself I did in resin over multiple layers. And it's just such a fun 
different technique to really make your artwork just pop. And I thought this was just a really clever idea. I did try to find a metal bucket for the fish one, but unfortunately I couldn't. So I thought it might be quite fun to get like a plant pot and then maybe put some sand in it and paint some fish because then it can look like, oh, this was left outside in the garden and it rained and somehow fish are in there now. Makes sense. So I've just put sand in this pot. I think this should be okay because there's a sticker underneath covering the hole. Next up, we're gonna put this weird stuff in there as well. This was just like on clearance that I found moss. You can buy moss now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stick them in. I have no method to this and the resin might completely flatten it and make it look terrible, but we'll see. I've made the sand be quite high in this pot because I don't wanna use a huge amount of resin if I can help it because it just makes it harder to cure. And I did buy some UV resin. I still have some left over from my Titanic project. And I'll probably only do maybe three layers of the goldfish because I don't want it to look separated. I want it to just look 3D without being like on multiple layers. So I've got my ventilator thing. I'm gonna leave the bubbles as well because it's underwater. I've got a nail lamp. We're just gonna use this to clear it. And that stinks. Ugh, it stinks. Okay, that is a bad start. <laughs> I forgot it's doing that thing that my other one did. Whoops. Okay, we have a problem. I completely forgot this was an issue with UV resin. Like it, it's not like completely drying. I do not actually have the luxury of waiting a few days to do this because I'm not gonna be here in two days. I'm actually going to film a collab in two days and I can't take resin on a plane. So we're just gonna have to make do with this resin even if it doesn't look the best. It will probably be okay, but just in case it's not. I got some sand and mud from my garden. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is apply incredibly thin, tiny little layers of resin in hopes that it's not gonna be too bad. I really do not like resin. It's really finicky. And that's just an excuse because I guess I'm not very good with it. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Let's apply some more. I'm gonna stick with this one purely because this one is kind of a mess. I'm just applying very thin layers. We're gonna leave that to be the base for now. And then I'm gonna apply a layer of resin over the top. Ooh, it's coming together. Ignore all the bubbles, but look. Ooh, it's coming together. Cool. Right, I'm gonna try and do much more detail on this particular layer because it's gonna look weird if it's on too many, I think. I'm so happy with that so far. I think when we add the details, it's gonna look really cool. Okay, so we have some eyeballs. <laughs> They're not perfect, but that is okay. I've done three layers of this fish so far. I really only wanna do one more because I don't want you to be able to sort of tilt it and see all the layers. So I'm gonna try my best to when that is dry, add a few more details. Another layer of resin, maybe then a layer of just like final, final details and then resin over the top and then it should be okay. But so far, a little fishy. He's just like floating in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put one more layer of resin over and then I'm gonna paint on some like little shimmery parts and then we should be good. Add some little, tiny little dots. I'm gonna add some little white dots on his eyes, I think. Okay, I'm gonna apply my last layer now and call it done. Okay, here's our little goldfish. It's cute. 
He looks a bit weird, but also I'm kind of loving it. You can't really tell that there's sand at the bottom. <laughs> Maybe I made it a little too thick, but overall, this was fun. I can see why people paint like in resin. It's a lot of fun. It really is. I didn't spend the biggest amount of time on this. I spent about two hours, well, an hour and a half maybe on it, but it is a fun activity. And now I've got my little, my little goldfish in a plant pot. I'm pretty happy with that. This one is where he's like shaving off part of the graphite and then using a cotton bud to kind of smooth out and make some designs. It's just a cute idea. Makes it a little bit different. It looks very messy though. I'm not sure how he like gets it off of the paper without it smudging everywhere, but it's cute. Okay, we're gonna take this well out of the way. And now we're gonna work on the very, very last thing, which was with the pencils and kind of like shaving off the actual lead. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna use one of my pencils. Yes, I'm bringing pencils out. These are just like, just fun little pencils, nothing fancy, but I'm gonna be releasing these in a set very soon. Follow Artistic Bear Co on Instagram. That is my brand, so you can be updated when these come out. But yeah, I have these three pencils here that are gonna be coming out very soon with some fun quotes on them. Anyway, I'm gonna use this pencil right here. I don't have cotton bud, but I do have cotton balls. So I'm just gonna twist these and use this. So from the video, it looks like all they do, they use like the, the shaving parts of it to create a design. Actually, I could probably use a paintbrush, couldn't I? We'll try it with a paintbrush. Let's try a bear. That didn't work. I found this charcoal pencil, so hopefully this one will work. <sighs> okay. Okay, this is an Amazon Basics charcoal pencil. So hopefully this one will work. Fingers crossed. Okay, there's a bear. <laughs> Let's try something more simple. Ah, poo, this pencil sucks. Let's just be really random and make a gingerbread man for the sake of it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a real fan of this method of making art, but it does work. I just, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but it does work, to be fair. It, it, do, it does work. I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna do kind of what they did. They did a cute little bumblebee. This is how short this pencil's become as well, which is kind of sucky. That's a stinger. Maybe if you used a fine liner. I think my favorite one is the bear, just cause it looks most like what it's supposed to be. So those are the three that I did. They look a bit sad, but it does, it, it does work. It's a cool hack. I don't really know why you'd want to do it unless you want to make something really loose. But yeah, that's, that's how that turned out. So we're all done for today. Thank you so incredibly much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you know of any you would like to see me try next time or out of all three, which one you would try or you really like as well. And yes, thank you so much to our sponsor for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.